I'm a multi-millionaire through real estate. In this video, I will break down the five main parts you need to know to invest in rental properties and become a millionaire, starting with part one, getting started. Start small, think big. Let me take you back to my own humble beginnings in the world of property investment right here in South Africa. Picture this, a young, wide-eyed version of me armed with nothing but determination and a thirst for success. I started with a modest three-bedroom duplex in a developing area. It wasn't flashy, but it was a solid investment with room for growth. And I rented out the other two bedrooms. Example, consider starting with a small residential property or even a multi-family unit to dip your toes into the real estate market. As you gain experience and confidence, you can gradually expand your portfolio. Next up, location. One of the first lessons I learned was the importance of location. In South Africa, different areas offer varying degrees of investment potential. I learned the hard way that investing in a trendy neighborhood doesn't always guarantee success. It was in an up and coming suburb where I found my first real gem, a property that doubled in value within a few years. Do your research, scout the neighborhoods and look for areas with low vacancy rates and good amenities and a strong rental demand. Remember, Location can make or break your investment. Which brings us to part two, financial considerations. Now, let's talk numbers. Crunching the financial is crucial before taking the plunge into real estate. Calculate your potential return on investment, taking into account factors like rental income, property taxes, maintenance cost, and vacancy rates. Don't forget to leave room for unexpected expenses because, trust me, they will come knocking when you least expect it. Speaking of expenses, financing your investment is another critical aspect to consider. Securing financing for your investment can be daunting, but it's essential to explore all your options. When I was starting, I shopped around for mortgages and found one with favorable terms that fits my budget. Don't be afraid to negotiate with lenders and explore government-backed loan programs that may be available to you. And remember, don't stretch yourself too thin. You want your investment to be a source of wealth, not stress. If this video connects with you, then show some love by smashing the like button. Okay. Now that we've learned how to get started and understand what financial considerations to make, what next? Well, that takes us to part three, being a landlord. Now, let's fast forward it a bit. You've done your homework, secured financing, and purchased your first rental property. Congratulations, but the work doesn't stop there. Being a landlord, comes with its own challenges and responsibilities. From screening tenants to handling maintenance requests, you will wear many hats in this role. One lesson I learned early on is the importance of finding reliable tenants. A bad tenant can turn your investment into a nightmare. So don't rush the screening process. Conduct thorough background checks, verify income, and trust your gut instinct. Remember, it's better to have a vacant property than a problem tenant causing you headache. Part four, building wealth, the power of appreciation. Now, let's talk about the magic ingredient that turns rental properties into wealth generators, appreciation. Over time, property values tend to increase especially in high demand areas. This appreciation coupled with rental income can turbocharge your wealth burden journey. But remember, patience is key. Real estate is a long-term game, so don't expect overnight success. Next up is diversification. Diversifying your investment portfolio is crucial for mitigating risk 
and maximizing return. As you grow your portfolio, consider diversifying your investment to spread risk and maximize returns. Explore different types of properties from residential homes to commercial units. Each asset class has its own unique advantages and challenges, so don't be afraid to mix them up. Okay, we have one part left, but before we jump into that, if you are watching this right now and you've made it this far, type in I'm a legacy builder in the comment section below because you are truly a legacy builder. Which brings us to part five, setting realistic expectations. Now, let's address the million dollar question. How long does it take to become a real estate millionaire? Well, there is no one size fits all answer. Your journey will depend on factors like your initial investments, market conditions, and investment strategy. But one thing for sure, with dedication, patience, smart decision making, and smart money moves, you can turn your real estate dreams into reality. Investing in rental properties in South Africa isn't just about making money. It's about building wealth, creating passive income streams, and achieving financial freedom. If you found this video valuable, hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Share your thoughts on your favorite parts of this video in the comments below. I love hearing from you. Thanks for watching. Happy investing. Be a legacy builder. Watch the next video and don't forget to subscribe.